Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening participants in ATL's webcast, Highlights of Titan as a LIMS and an ERP. We are so glad you decided to join us today, and we look forward to uh, sharing some information with you about our incredible product, Titan. I'm Laura Lee Williford. I'm ATL's Director of Sales and Marketing. And uh, with us today is Chuck Heinball, ATL's Director of Implementation and Support. Welcome. Today, uh, we're gonna give you a very brief introduction uh, to ATL, uh, who we are, how we operate, and then I'm gonna turn it over to Chuck for an introduction uh, to the Titan product, uh, an overview of the product, as well as um, a, a bit more detail about our LIMS package in Titan and our ERP solutions. Um, we will also um, uh, conclude with some recommended next steps. This is a very short um, webcast. Um, 15, 20, 25 minutes at the, at the most. So just a little bit uh, about ATL. Um, we have been, uh, as an organization, a leader in the LIMS space since 1994. Um, our LIMS solutions uh, are in um, over 500 laboratories. We have over um, 35,000 users worldwide. This is all that we do. Um, it's our core competency is information automation with a focus on laboratory information. Uh, we're ISO certified, so quality is part of our DNA, and we're uh, a Microsoft Gold certified, certified partner as well as an Oracle Business Alliance partner, and we have a very strong customer focus. These are um, just a few of our uh, core markets, um, food and beverage, uh, manufacturing, water, wastewater, agriculture, uh, energy, et cetera. Um, just to let you know, we were founded almost 20 years ago in Silicon Valley, introducing the first Windows-based limbs called Sample Master. And we've had a tremendous number of milestones along the way, including in 2006, introducing the uh, Titan um, project. We called it Bulldog back then. And in uh, three years ago, in 2010, we actually began uh, marketing uh, that project. That this product that you're about to see. And so we have many customers now that are using Titan successfully today. Um, Chuck and I are talking with you today from uh, North Carolina. We're in a town uh, called West End. Uh, it's near Pinehurst, the golfing capital of the world. Um, but we also have partners throughout the world. Um, we have a partner in Germany, uh, one in Kenya, in Africa, as well as in um, Colombia, South America. So we are definitely a global player in the limb space. So just uh, to whet your appetite, uh, Chuck will definitely give you a deeper dive, but just to whet your appetite about Titan, this is a laboratory enterprise resource planning giant that provides a complete business management solution well beyond the laboratory environment. So it's adaptable, capable of meeting a broad variety of organizational needs as it uses service-oriented architecture and open XML standards. This allows for integration of a wide range of external systems. And we use Microsoft ClickOne's deployment for an easy uh, installation as well as upgrade. What you're gonna see is that it has a very clean, intuitive interface. It has ribbon-based menus, tab-based workspace. Um, we offer user-definable dashboards that facilitate business intelligence in the laboratory as well as beyond. And again, there's that full integration with a variety of enterprise packages, such as accounting, SCADA, SAP, SAS, uh, JMP. Uh, we offer our report writer, uh, this is a tool that allows those of us non-programmers to design reports, uh, offers a um, 
uses a drag and drop uh, graphical interface and it does have the ability to incorporate graphs and images. Um, and we have, um, for those of you who, who um, are comfortable with Crystal and SQL Server reporting, we are definitely compatible uh, with those additional reporting tools. So let me turn it over to uh, Chuck for uh, further highlights about uh, the Titan product. Chuck, it's all yours. Thank you, Laura Lee. My name is Chuck Heinbaugh. I am the Director of Support and Implementation here at ATL. And I want to show you a little bit on Titan today and how it can be used to track everything in the laboratory from samples even into inventory and managing purchase requests and purchase orders. We're going to start out in the laboratory area and we're going to take a look at a work order. In Titan, we use work orders to indicate projects or sampling events that have been submitted to the laboratory to be analyzed. A work order could contain one or more samples, and each sample can contain multiple containers, and we can even assign the appropriate analysis methods to be analyzed down to the container level. Just a little bit of information here, general information on the work order. We can also come in here and right at the work order level see all the samples that were submitted at the time. We can see any files that have been associated to this, so we can actually attach files, and that can be any type of file that you can receive, whether pictures, Excel sheets, Word documents, PDFs. We can see any aliquots that are created, so remember we actually analyze an aliquot from a sample, and you can make multiple aliquots for a sample. But the neatest thing, I think, is to be able to go right to the work order and see all the results that have been entered. <clears throat> so I can go right into the work order, look at the results, and here I can see my results. Just a few things that we can, I want to talk about how we can easily look for things. If this was a very large list and I wanted to just find everything that was for salmonella, I can go up to my filter role and just start typing in salmonella and it's going to filter everything by just that test. So this is good, that filter row can be used on any field in the system. And we can also take things, if I wanted to just group them together, I can drag things to this grouping column, and now I can group them, and I can see each one of these as it would be related as to that tree view. So how do we get results into the system? That's another question that usually gets asked. So why don't we take a look? We can do that by creating an analysis batch. An analysis batch is going to allow us to indicate which instrument the analysis is done on, what samples were analyzed at the same time, and any quality control samples that were analyzed with this. So if we take a look at the crude protein, we can open this up and we can see when it was analyzed. We can take a look at the aliquots that were included. And if this was still in the creation phase, I could actually come in and add more of these um, samples to this. In this case, we have them already completed. And you'll notice we have a control sample blank and check standards included with this. We can take a look at the QC and even see the results right from here. So we had 92, 96, 94% recovery, which is good. Um, we can assign products. So if we wanted to subtract inventory from our inventory, when we do an analysis patch, we can redo this by assigning products. We can even go in and assign other equipment. So not only can we actually identify the instrument that was used, but if anything was used as far as an incubator or a digester, we can just move that over and now we can assign those assets to this batch as well. We can also take a look at the results. And you'll notice when we see the results that one of my results is outside of a predefined limit and it's highlighted for us in a different color. And this will allow us to see these right away. Um, you can set predefined limits up for permit limits um, control limits, maybe you want to have um, something indicated if it's reported less than the report detection limit. So we can do different things with permits, really unlimited on what type of limits we can add to the system. These limits can be test specific, they can be customer specific, they can even be site and product specific limits. We also have the ability to take a look and attach any files as well. So if we want to attach our instrument files, Data from instruments can be either typed in manually or we can use a file drop where we take an export file from your instrument, drop it into a specified directory, and we predefined in Titan for that directory then 
the, the mapper that will take the data from the instrument and import it into Titan for you automatically. So once you drop the file into that directory, everything happens easily and automatically from that point forward. So that's a little bit on how we can analyze things in the laboratory. We can track the work orders that come in. The work order may contain one or more samples. That work order contains samples. Samples can contain containers. And then we track aliquots from those containers. So we can analyze things multiple times and actually keep track of each time it was analyzed. Moving over to the business side, take a look at the business. We can do things by keeping track of customers. Customers will allow us to actually open the customers and take a look. And from the similar to a work order, we can go into customer. We can see information on that customer, any quotes, any sales orders, any work orders ever performed for that customer. Uh, deliveries, we can track returns, invoices, um, contacts, projects, schedule sample sets. We can schedule things to happen automatically. And even right from the customer, we can jump right in and we can take a look and see the results for that customer. So this is, would be a listing of all the results ever for the customer. Scroll over and there's our results all here. So if I wanted to do something like do a trend chart for some results, I could come in and take a look for all the crude protein, highlight my data that I want to chart, right click, go to charting. And from here, I can very easily select the information I want to show on my chart. And I can do a bar chart or maybe I might want to do a line chart. So it would be very easy to do trend analysis on your samples right from here. But that's more the that's the laboratory part. So the Titan is a limbs, but Titan is also a little bit more than just a limbs. It gives us the ability to actually track things like purchase requisitions. So I can go into the laboratory and I can request a purchase requisition. And on a purchase requisition, I can create a list of the things I'd like to have purchased. And this could go through your management approval stages as needed. If your organization doesn't need to do a purchase requisition first and you need to just do a PO, we can easily go to purchase orders and create a PO right from there. And when we create a PO, we can identify the different items that we need to order and how much we need to order of those. We can assign them and track them. If you order them for a specific project or a specific commodity code or department, we can actually assign those to these as well. So how does Titan track our inventory? Well, we can go over to the, in the business area, we can take a look and we can look at our inventory items. And I'm going to open up this one for filtered and just unfilter for everything. I could come in and maybe I want to see everything that's available and ready to be used. I can look at the my state here and I can change, filter this by available. Now I can see a list of everything that's ready to be used in the lab and actually how much we currently have on hand for that. So this is, allows us to track not only the laboratory work, but other things that we work for the organization. Titan can actually be used to create delivery orders and sales orders for products that you actually manufacture and sell if you don't actually um, want to use this primarily as a limbs. So we can actually use this to sell products and keep track of orders that have been created and the fact that they've been sent out and any return authorizations even. If you rent equipment, we can set up rental orders and bring rental returns back so you can track what equipment goes where. We can also use Titan to track our assets in the laboratory or the organization. And assets can be anything from um, physical assets that are not related to lab work, or they can be instrumentation that's related to lab work. So we can track our assets in different ways. Titan also allows us to have a dashboard where we can actually come in and take a quick look and open the dashboard and see how things are. So things like container count, what containers are in different areas, what type of uh, summary of stock do I have, where, where is my stock stored, what, what are my top analysis methods. These are just a few items that are late and the number of samples that have been received by customers. So we can bring these different dashboards in here. So I hope this is, helps you understand a little bit more about 
Titan and the ways it can be used in, a, in an organization as not only just a limbs, but an ERP for tracking other uh, resources in your organization, all the way down to helping with sales orders and delivery orders. Laura Lee, I'm going to turn it back over to you. And um, again, I thank you everybody for taking some time to take a look at this. And if you have any questions, please contact Laura Lee. Thank you, Chuck. And thank you everyone again for joining us today. I guess you can hear how passionate we are about our company and our incredible product, Titan. Um, and we would um, encourage you to, to learn more um, and to contact us. Um, the next steps, again, could be to um, learn more by participating in a Titan demonstration uh, for your organization, tailored just for your organization. And, and visit with us. We're going to be uh, at PitCon uh, the week of March 18th. Uh, if you're going to be there, come and say hello. Um, and um, let us know uh, how we can help you. Contact me. I'm uh, Laura Lee Williford. And uh, you'll see there uh, the um, phone number uh, and or my email. And of course, we'll, we'll uh, follow up with you and see how we can be of, of service um, to you and your, your organization. Again, um, thank you for joining us. And thank you, Chuck, again, for um, uh, conducting the, the uh, highlights for us. And we hope you all have a great rest of the morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you are. Take care.